All right, so start with this guy. This gentleman brought this in, and he's been having problems with it overheating and running hot. A couple of things we've discovered. This button seems to be broken. This key. See if we can't get it back on there. Even though more than, nope, it's not gonna go back on there. The clips themselves are actually broken. And it's just, you can hear it running very hot. And then, so in like an effort to combat that, what the owner did was set the fan profiles on this to 100% to, like I said, to help keep it cooler. So this is an Acer Predator. This is a PH315 5178NP. Names are incredible. On the bottom, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 screws. And we gotta get out of there. And some of them are gonna be the same length, some are gonna be different lengths. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps so the channel. Make sure you kinda of keep them organized so that you know where they all go. Yeah, we're gonna, when we get it apart, we're gonna take a look, see if there is a bunch of dust in there. If there's a bunch of dust in there, then we kinda of know what's going on. My goal, whenever I'm working on an overheating computer, is to go through, clean out any dust that may be in the cooling system, and repaste. In this case, it's going to be a CPU and a GPU. So we'll have to uh, deal with that when we get there. Lots of screws. All the ones on the outside are the same length, so that's positive. I know, I'll be giving more than more thermal paste than MSI does. For sure. Um, let's see, I believe this bottom is all one piece. We'll get these off of here. Remove the non-existent hard drive. Because we have an SSD, so we have one, two, three screws holding this guy in. And it looks like the rack is not attached to anything. Which is fine, generally. Oh, that's fun. So we got that out. Let's see if we have any screws along the back. We do not. Let's get this off of here. Oh, that stays on there. Where is my, my brake line? On the top. So, separates right along this edge. Don't want to pry. Just want to use like something to actually separate. And then once it starts to separate, then we can slowly work our way around. And separate it further. This thing has definitely seen Seen some use, which is, you know, it's good. Not something that just sits in a bag. We'll go around this side as well. Come on. All the way. All right, so once you have this open, we have our coolers, which they look quite dusty. 
It is an enclosed cooler, so anything that would get stuck in there will be trapped. We have, this is our CPU, this is our GPU. We'll get this whole cooling the apparatus off of here and then repaste everything. So we'll start here. These are in numbered order. We're gonna take it off and put it back together in the same order. We have one, two, three, four, we have, there we go, there's five. And for six, six. And then seven. And I don't think there's any other screws over there, but we need to get all the screws out of the actual cooling fans themselves. Should just be a couple. And this one. And we gotta be careful not to bend these. So we're gonna unplug this fan, unplug this fan. Sure we have no other screws and uh, up we go so we'll get that open in a second we'll get these repasted after that set that off to the side so we need to do so I'm just gonna come in here going to this lifted. We will be putting this back on here, so we don't want to tear it. What do we want to do? All right, so back to what we're doing here. We have we are taking we're going to take this plate off and make sure that these fans are actually fully cleaned out. These screws are incredibly, incredibly tiny. So when you're actively doing this, you gotta make sure they don't get blown away or anything. Um, so just be careful, take your time, move things around. So while I'm going through and doing this, we will, yeah, look how, look how clogged up these guys are. There's no airflow flowing through that. So let me go turn my compressor on and we'll get this completely, completely cleaned out. All right, so and this is what the after looks like. And all that out of there. And so with the thermal pads themselves, I usually only replace them if they look perished and they're starting to fall apart. These are actually in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and get these guys back on there. Then we'll re we'll redo the thermal paste. Get this guy out of here. These are the same, right? Stay out. Huh. So it doesn't matter which side goes away. And just one at a time, get these screws back in there and then we'll put that, that adhesive back down. It's not gonna stick so great, but we just wanna make sure that we're covering the gaps that we do have. Just because you wanna create, continue to create this funnel, this funnel effect that gets the air through there and not back, not, you know, redistributing hot air into the case. Put this over. Put this back down. And it's not really gonna stick. This stuff is like one time, kind of one time use. We're gonna put it down there as best we can. Let's clean this off.
a little bit of caked thermal paste off of here. Dry stuff out of here. Now set this up here. Do the same dealio here. We're going to dust that a little bit, get that cleaned up. Get the mold paste removed from the top of the silicon. All right, then we get some new stuff on there. Two dots. And it'll spread out plenty. And just as kind of like a, a safety sanity check, we make sure we don't have any kind of curve. You want to try and make sure when you're taking these off that you do not bend this copper because underneath here is power stuff. So if any of this copper makes contact with any of the power circuit, you're going to have a bad day and end up having to replace a motherboard. Not that I've ever done that before. <laughs> but do that. Fan back in. Fan back in. I'm sure everything is lined up nicely there. And then we put our put our screws back in in the same order we took them out. So now we got all the dust blown off the motherboard, it's clean as it don't get. Start lining this back up and get this back together. Of course, before we do that, don't be like me and do what I just did. We need to put the screws back in the fan. I just completely forgot about. Yeah. Too worried about getting all that dust off of the motherboard. You just had standing dust. This will also glue that back on. All right, so that's taken care of. Yeah, that's better. Let's. All right. Two more screws need to go in. Huh. So let's go through here now. We're going to get this, the rest of this cleaned up because you can see this thing is not in great shape. Okay. Let's go into the BIOS, adjust our fan curves and then get this thing entirely cleaned up. Is this, this guy is a wee bit dirty. Then we'll call him and we'll get him out of here. We just did a deep clean. So, go into the UEFI and see if that's where the fan curve is being set. No. Thing is in raid for some reason though that's fun yeah but usually the software override would not carry on into the bios and outside of being used now well, we'll see here Get some of these stickers off here that aren't needed curious what's actually doing it 
So this has a 1060 in it, Emily. You were asking about that. I wonder if it's this Acer Predator. Let me see if it's this Predator Sense. Yep, that's what it is. We'll set this for auto. Here we go. It'd be nice if we could set like a custom curve on here. I guess we're just gonna leave it. We'll leave it as is, because right now it's a 41, which is fine. He has Furmark. Let's see what kind of temperatures we're getting in Furmark. And then we'll clean this thing up. I don't have the power cord. I think the battery just died. Oh well, well, in the interim, let's get this cleaned up. All right, let's get this out of here. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.